My name is uh, Haven Harrington. I am Director of Communications for the Louisville Extreme Indoor Football Team. I'd like to thank everybody today for showing up and uh, coming out for uh, what is a big day for us, a, a huge day for us. So we'd like to really thank everybody for coming out. I'd like to thank all our owners here that are uh, in the building for showing up as well. Um, you know, we're, gonna, we're not going to drag this on too long. I'd like to get this started rather quickly. I'd like to bring up to the stage next, uh, Eric Granger. He is the uh, general manager of the Yum Center. This is an exciting day. Again, my name is Eric Granger. I'm the general manager of ASM Global uh, Louisville. And we are so excited about today's announcement. On behalf of the Louisville Arena Authority and our chair, Leslie Gohagen, and all the staff at the KFC Yum Center, we are very excited to welcome the Louisville Extreme and the IFL to our event schedule. From my very first meeting with Chris Redman and Victor Cole, I became excited at the prospect of indoor football at the KFC Yum Center. They laid out a plan with a vision of quality, affordable family entertainment at the highest level of professionalism and competition. These two objectives will create an atmosphere that will be enjoyed by fans from throughout the metro area and the region. We we're also pleased with their commitment to, to community outreach that aligns well with the KFC Yum Center, the Louisville Arena Authority, and our partners. We are very pleased to announce today the signing of a three-year rental lease with the Louisville Extreme at the KFC Yum Center starting this April. <laughs> the ownership group's willingness to make such an investment, especially during this pandemic, should not be overlooked. Their commitment to start now and not wait is risky and further demonstrates that brighter days are ahead for live entertainment and for downtown Louisville. Also not to be overlooked is that the ownership group consists of 19 African-American stakeholders, something that the sports industry should take note of. As we have with the University of Louisville basketball games and with all of our events at our other venues here in Louisville, ASM Global is committed to operate our events under the safest protocols. With the ASM Global Venue Shield program, we will operate these games under the guidelines set by the Commonwealth and local public health officials, as well as league guidelines. For this season, we will operate under a reduced capacity, which is currently set at 15%, enforced physical distancing, requiring face masks when not actively eating or drinking, temperature checks, and sanitizing before, during, and after all games. We want all those that come to the Louisville Extreme Games, as well as our other events at the KFC Yum Center, to know that their safety is of the most importance. My personal experience with indoor football was at Nationwide Arena in Columbus, Ohio, with the Columbus Destroyers. My memories are of fast-paced, action-packed games. Indoor football is truly fun, and although not really known for defense, there's a lot of offense. One of, my one of my best memories of indoor football is how the makeup of the spectators was a blend of all demographics, young and old, family and individuals. Downtown Louisville is open for business. Our hospitality community is open for business. Hotels, event venues, restaurants, bars, and amusement attractions are ready to greet guests again. We all long for the days of pre-COVID, and today's announcement shows that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. We need everyone's support of these games and all our events so that we truly can not just get back to where we were before, but truly be better. At this time, I would like to recognize some special guests in attendance. Leslie Gohagen, the chair of the, Lu of the Louisville Arena Authority. Darren McCauley, board member of the Louisville Arena Authority. Carl Schmidt, President and CEO of the Louisville Sports Commission, and all our guests, again, welcome. Once again, on behalf of the Louisville Arena Authority, ASM Global, and all of our staff here at the KFC Yum Center, I would like to thank the ownership group of the Louisville Extreme for their partnership and welcome them, their front office staff, players, coaches, and their fans to the KFC Yum Center. 
We look forward to working together to make this endeavor successful and to many years of great games in the future. Thank you again for joining us today for this great announcement. Thank you. Uh, next up, I'd like to uh, invite the general manager of the Louisville Extreme, the, the guy who has uh, been behind this effort from day one, Mr. Victor Cole. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you for coming out. Um, obviously, it's a, it's a huge day for us, and like Haven said, uh, I've been behind this for a very long time, so uh, you know it's, it brings sincere joy to my eyes and to my heart that we can finally have this groundbreaking day um, here at this wonderful arena. So first off, I'd like to uh, thank everyone that helped uh, make this possible. Obviously, all of our partners uh, who are here, all of our stakeholders, uh, Eric Granger, ASM Global, uh, the Yum Center, uh, UofL Health, uh, which is one of our uh, title partners that, you know, again, Thank you to them. And uh, just everyone else that, that I have missed uh, that or who couldn't make it here today. So again, thank you for everyone who has helped make this day come true for us. Um, also, you know, I wanted to hit on just, obviously this is a tremendous opportunity that we are bringing to the community. So not only is this just a uh, professional sports team that we are bringing here to a great facility, uh, but we are a pillar for not only uh, just the Louisville community, but the African-American community. Um, as Eric said, our ownership cr uh, group comprises of over 20 some odd African-American uh, stakeholders that have helped make this possible. So, um, you know, for, for that to be done, it's just, you know, historic in itself uh, because you don't see too many African-American owned uh, professional sports franchises. So, uh, you know, thank you to, to my uh, African-American stakeholders. So. And next, uh, you know, just economically. So, you know, the, the city of Louisville, we've, we've been hurting here. Obviously, we've had a lot of uh, different social injustice, uh, you know, events that have taken place, you know, a lot of unfortunate events. Uh, COVID, you know, hit us pretty hard unexpectedly last year. But like Mr. Granger said, downtown is open for business again. And with the Louisville Extreme, you know, we bring that commerce back down here. So economically, the, the city will benefit. Uh, for fans and families, you know, you have affordable fun that and entertainment that you can come down here and, and get um, outside of your normal NFL or college football and basketball seasons. So it's just, again, a, a great opportunity economically that will, will assist and help the city. Uh, next, I would like to speak on just some tidbits about the IFL, the Indoor Football League. So back in November, we went over to the Indoor Football League and you know we had a tremendous opportunity in partnering with such a great league. Uh, so some tidbits about the league, uh, they've been in operation for about 13 consecutive years. So it's the longest running Indoor Football League in the country and pretty much the, the top of what we do, the cream of the crop. Uh, teams extend from literally from Massachusetts all the way to California and Washington State uh, down to Texas. So for the 2021 season, we will have about 12 teams that will be playing, but currently there are 17 teams in the league and we're continuously growing as years go on. Um, I'm also excited to announce that for our home games here this year, we did partner with WDRB and all of our local home games will be broadcasted on CW. And uh, in addition, the IFL is working on a national television broadcast deal and I don't have the terms of it 100% as of now, but there is a national deal that is coming. So that is something else that is exciting for, you know, not only our city to be spotlighted on a national map, but uh, just something else good for the league as well. So some of the expectations that the fans can expect for the 2021 season and beyond, uh, we will have a, what we call an X-Fest, which is a pregame tailgate party. Uh, fans will be able to kind of come out uh, three to four hours prior to game day or kickoff and almost participate in like a, a college game day type scenario. So we're partnering with some uh, local downtown uh, uh, establishments to kind of get that fine tuned. And um, so that's one thing that the fans can expect. Another thing that fans can also expect is each game has a theme night. So 
you know, we will reach out to different demographics, so, you know, different theme nights such as like Military Appreciation Night, Country Night, Western Night, uh, Comic Con Night, stuff like that. Um, <laughs> different things will, like I said, take place and uh, we'll be able to get just different sorts of fans to come out and support that. And then just the price, the affordability. Uh, tickets will be affordable. Uh, they will start going on sale as far as season tickets starting today. And uh, fans will be able to call into our office or they can go online and email us and uh, get more ticketing information. So again, uh, you know, fans will be able to get affordable tickets and just get tremendous value on what they're getting. Um, next, I have, uh, you know, you just, you, you have a top-notch league. You have professional athletes that will be coming in here uh, from all over the country. A lot of these guys have NFL experience, D1 college experience, and then you just have some of those diamonds in the rough that you may get as well. So, um, you know, so you can expect some top-notch football being played right here in a great facility. So, and last, I'll just like to kind of leave off. We do expect to be here for the long run. Like Eric said, we've signed a three-year lease. We've also made some other uh, long-term commitments here within the community. And uh, so we look to be here for, for generations to come. So uh, thank you, and uh, you guys have a great day. Uh, thank you, Victor Cole, for kind of summing up what the, the Louisville Extreme is all about. Next up, I'd like to bring in our team president, former Super Bowl champion himself, Chris Redman that introduction, thanks. I think Victor said about everything that you could possibly say, uh, how excited we are to be in this premier facility in the country. And uh, I, it, it, took, it took a long time for us to get to this point. And so uh, I can't tell you how excited we are to, to be here right now. I'd like to thank uh, Mr. Mayor for, uh, for coming out today. I'd like to thank uh, Eric Granger and, and Robbie Valentine for being a big, huge part of uh, the reason that we're here today. Uh, obviously, my fellow partners here, and, and, and that's what it takes is a partnership. And it's not only our owners, partners, but I think it's, it's the community that's going to come together. And that's what I'm most excited about. I mean, I, I come from a long line of, uh, of football players, uh, starting with my grandfather um, that played at the University of Louisville. My dad is, is here in the, in the audience tonight. He's going to help us with some media uh, this year and, and television. Um, and, then, and then to be able to stay home and play football here for this community that, that gets behind um, football and all sports. And I really think this is the perfect time for a team to come together. And it doesn't matter what color you are, what, what financial position you're in, just come down here, get behind this team is, is going to be an incredible opportunity for us to come together to bring business to the downtown Louisville area, which is very deeply special to my heart. And I, I'm really excited to, for, for all of us to, to, to do this together in a premier league. The IFL will be the top indoor football league uh, in the country by, by far. And so um, I'm excited to be around uh, some more professional athletes. That's a, I was very blessed to, to be a part of uh, professional organizations until I was 35 years old. And so um, I've been around a lot of good opera, um, organizations, and we're going we're gonna to build that here in Louisville. So you can trust that we're going to do things the right way, and uh, I, people are going to come to, to our uh, events. And we, we want it to be an experience. We don't want it to be just a game. You're going to come down. You're going to have a great time before the game. You're going to be able to meet the players on the field after the game, after every game come down and like I said this is going to be a partnership that uh, I think people are going to really enjoy and we'd love to have uh, anyone that, that wants to reach out and help um, feel free to, to reach out to myself to Victor um, like to thank Haven for everything he's done uh, our dance team cheerleaders uh, thank you guys for coming out like I said we're all going to do this together and that's going to be a, it's going to be a great ride so I'm really looking forward to the future um, especially here in the Yum Center, what a, what a great opportunity. Thank you guys for, for uh, giving us this. And um, again, thank you all for coming out today and look forward to a very successful and, uh, and some football. Let's get, let's get back some football and let's, let's go, out, go back to living again, right? Let's go back and get out there and, and, uh, and do what we do best and uh, support this community. So thanks again for your time and look forward to the future. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Chris Redman. Man, I'm, I'm glad I gave you that Super Bowl-esque introduction, man. That was an awesome speech, awesome speech. Uh, next up, we have um, a great partner here with the, with the Louisville Extreme, and hopefully, uh, you know, we can get the mayor behind us because he's here today to celebrate with us, and we greatly uh, enjoy his support. So I'd like to bring up next, Mayor Greg Fisher.
All right, thank you everybody and good morning. This is really great news for the city. Uh, it's like uh, scoring a touchdown for our downtown at a time when uh, cities all over the country are trying to figure out how we're going to come back from this pandemic. And so we're all competing with each other, Nashville, Indianapolis, Cincinnati, uh, New York, you name it. So this is a great announcement here for the great city of Louisville because uh, we've been impacted by COVID-19 like everybody else. Uh, there's a lot of good news on the horizon. Uh, two weeks ago, we formed our downtown revitalization team because with vaccines now, people wearing masks more, you know, case counts are going down, people are starting to get out and about even more. So the timing of this league is perfect in terms of when I think the economy is going to start opening back up and people are going to start moving around again. So it's a wonderful time for this. It's terrific to look forward to a new opportunity. Remember, our downtown was on a major roll <clears throat> prior to the pandemic. So we've got all the assets in place that we need. We've got some new hotels that are going to be uh, announced here shortly. We've got some other great economic news coming along as well. So this announcement today with the extreme and the kickoff of the season is just another one of these great milestones that you need as we build momentum in our city. It's like building momentum in a game. When you've got the mojo going on and you feel like you're going to win the game, uh, this is a big part of that. And when you think about us as a sports city, Louisville loves sports. And we got a lot of good sports coming on downtown right now. U of L men's and women's basketball, Louisville City FC, our new professional women's uh, team, Racing Louisville FC, which kicks off its inaugural season here real soon. Louisville Bats are going to have their season back as well. And now, of course, the Louisville Extreme added to that also. They're all the indicators for success in my mind are there. I've seen a lot of kind of proposals come along. Got great leadership, got great ownership. Chris Redman, as he just pointed out, has been around winning organizations his whole life. Uh, Chris, I think you and the team are going to engineer another scoring drive here with the extreme. Uh, he knows something about scoring touchdowns, and I think that's what's going to happen here with the extreme as well. I want to thank Leslie Gohagen for her leadership at the Arena Authority. Where's Leslie in the house here somewhere? Thank you for standing up there. She's behind Robbie Valentine, who's right in the middle of this as well. So, Robbie, thank you for that, along with Eric and Yum Center for pulling all this together. And then a special thanks to the ownership group of the Extreme, and especially to Victor Cole. Uh, Victor, in addition to being a determined entrepreneur, is also a great citizen. I want to thank you for your service in Af Afghanistan on behalf of our country. And uh, you've got an unusual story for being a pro sports owner. So thank you for pulling all that together. And I know without your determination, this would not have happened. And then I want to thank also that this is really a historic uh, day for not just our city, but pro for professional sports. Uh, when you think about the lack of black ownership in pro sports, the lack of black coaching at the top level, uh, it's really a shameful situation for the country. And so for us here in Louisville, uh, the home of Muhammad Ali, and other great sports icons to have the kind of statement that we're making around black ownership in professional sports, I think is a really special thing. It's going to also gain a lot of national attention as well and hopefully be an inspiration for many other cities as well. So I just want to say thanks to all of you guys for stepping up in a really significant way to make this happen. I hope you're feeling a little pride uh, here today amongst yourselves and I can tell you our city does also, so thank you very, very much for that. Supporting black businesses uh, is a big part of our advancing racial equity program in the city, so we'll do everything that we can to make sure that we're a good partner with you guys. All right, so that's just one more reason to come out and support the extreme. Uh, when you put together local business with black owned business, I'm hoping everybody in the city can say, let's come out and see what this brand of football is like. I think most everybody understands what indoor football is like and they've seen the excitement of the game. And now to have the game right here in this world-class facility and have this broad local ownership group, I just think it's a wonderful recipe for success. So I look forward to the city being part of that. I want to thank all you guys. Thank the ownership again. It's taken a real team to pull this together. So let's go get them. Thanks, everybody. And we are excited to have those guys come in, as well as other players from around the region and around the country uh, to come into play. We have a tremendous coaching staff. 
that has uh, played at the highest level in indoor football, that has won championships, that has been coach of the year, that has led franchises of the year. So we have the experience, the talent. We're ready for some football. The season kicks off April 24th. I expect to see everybody there. Thank you for coming out tonight or today. Thank you.